Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then, govs and govesses? This is Officer Red here, coming back, bringing you some more Sir You're Being Hunted Police Challenge. This is episode 168 now. So, as you remember in the last episode, we have an investigation that needs to be undertaken. If I can just remember where the building where I put all the evidence was. It was a big building, wasn't it? Was it a church? I think it was a church. If I can locate where the church was, we'll be good. We'll be golden, and I have my rifle with no bullets. I'm kind of running out of ammo for this revolver as well. Sea Beast is saying hi over there. You all see him? There he is. Look at him. He's trying to flag down a police officer, but it's not happening. Okay, now. Where did I go to this church? I must have been, yeah, must have been back over this way. Okay. So, ooh, dumpster. With not really anything in it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I should probably clear out some of these... I was going to say clear out some of these inventories, but... No actual point, is there? Because I've already cleared one inventory out, and I've already got the investigation to uh, commence with. So, remember, of course, in the last episode we had a massive shootout on this island. A lot of robots all started, you know, trying to kill each other. Got a lot of potential perps, mur murderers, perpetrators, blah blah blah. Now, where is that church? There's a house there. Ah, I think we may be close. Okay. Right, we're on the wrong side of this crag, I do think. So if we can find our way down, we should be able to locate it. Police officer inbound. I just hurt myself doing that. Okay, there's the church. Look at that there. In fact, actually, are there any guys near the house? I don't hear any. Oh, great. Would you look at that? There's flipping robots right by the bloody church. The one place where they're not supposed to be. Okay. There's not really anything in there that I need. Uh, I must have cleared this out because there was an empty space in that inventory just then. Um, chocolate biscuits, let's eat them. I've also got my blackberries actually I could eat. Yeah, I've also got fish and chips, two bits of meat, and of course a pie, and the lukewarm tea flask. Okay, I've also got an axe now as well. Can't quite remember what evidence I amassed in the last episode. Alright. Mints. Let's eat those. Okay. Now, I could have actually just picked up that alarm clock a second ago. Because I could use that to distract the robots from over there whilst I uh, actually carry out the investigation. Or rather, conduct the analysis. Now, which door was that alarm clock in? There it is. Okay, so if we take that... That's in slot 5. That's good. Okay, y'all. We need... To get these robots o over in this direction. Um, just thinking how we're going to do this. I think if we uh, place it on about a 35 second timer. Yeah, put it on the other side of this tree here. There we go. That should work. Should be enough to draw them out at least. Okay, if we just loop around into the churchyard like so. Now I think the door is on their side, isn't it? Oh, that reminds me, there is actually a device piece hidden over there somewhere. Where well, there are going to be more robots, I hope they're not going to hear. Hmm. Okay, if we just go this way. Like so. Should hear that. There it goes. Okay, so they're off. That's going to distract them from the crime scene momentarily. Well, technically this church isn't the crime scene. The crime scene was actually over in the forest to the sort of north in that direction. But you all know what I, I'm getting at here, don't you? Right, here we are. Okay, so, freaking five or six flipping broken shotguns, lots of mint, some boots, some raw meat, and some shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. Just take all of these, because obviously I'm going to use them. Lovely jubbly. So, as you can see... You know, none of the robots we had to uh, kill there had anything particularly valuable on them. So we can probably just eat some of their food, you know, as you do. <laughs> what a good police officer I am. The freaking robots are coming back, so I should probably move. Okay, so as you all saw there in that evidence, you know, nothing of any real value that those robots had there. So I deduce that this was not a crime based upon one robot wanting to take another's possessions. Because after all, none of them are carrying anything valuable. So therefore, what else could the motive have been? Well, 
if we uh, proceed in this direction, I uh, propose that we go and take a look, another look at the actual scene of the crime, the actual scene of the murder, and we shall deduce what was actually going on. Now, as you'll remember, I don't know why I'm talking in this very posh voice, but it seems to fit. Now, as you all remember, of in this direction was a forest where the shootout actually took place. Now, if we do look around us right now, there is one thing we can say about this landscape. It is a very undeveloped area. Very little urban development. Now, you see, we have a large forest over here. And because this is a very undeveloped, unurbanised area, it has come to my conclusion, or rather it is my conclusion rather, that the robots were perhaps thinking of developing this area into a housing estate. And there were two rival groups of developers, property developers, and they were thinking of just, they were competing for the light, I don't know, I'm just pulling shit out my arse at this point. But yeah, that's the investigation complete everybody. It's based on a kind of very tenuous logic, don't question it. But yes, that is the conclusion, everybody. The robots were not carrying anything valuable, ergo, it must be competition over property development rights and ownership of the land. There we are. Now, if I'm not mistaken, actually, in the last episode, the landowner did turn up during that shootout, so maybe he was there to try and resolve the problem. But of course, in the end, the robots just killed each other. They didn't want to listen to him. He came to uh, grant the deed to someone, but another rival group of property developing robots showed up, thinking, oh, we'll uh, kill off these guys and then take the deeds for ourselves. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just making this shit up on the fly, pretty much. <laughs> okay, but now that we've, uh, you know, pretty much completed the challenge on the West Island, that leaves us only two more islands to go, I think, north and east. So, without further ado, let us get back to the centre. We'll get a move on. Okay. So there we are. So far we've had, you know, motives, motive-wise, we've had murders over oil feuds, murders over uh, valuable property, and now a murder over land ownership. Yes. Again, like I say, don't question it. Just go with it. <laughs> We're RPing like crazy here. Okay, let's have a sip of tea, you asked him at it. There we go. Right, so now if we just, I think, follow the coast pretty much. In fact, actually, um, whilst I'm here, I should probably switch out my shotgun for the uh, rifle for the shotgun, rather, since I've got so much freaking spare ammo for that. Move some bandages up there as well whilst I'm at it. Got too much space in my inventory. Let's switch slot 7 to the axe rather than the stone. Don't actually have a stone on me. Okay. So, let us just get a move on. Right. Keep following the coast round, we'll eventually find the... Well, I'm guessing will be the North Jetty next. So might as well do the North Island next, then. We'll go there. We'll see uh, which robots are having a shootout. Uh, I'm actually recording this not long, uh, not long after having my tea or dinner, as you Americans and non-Northern English people might uh, call it out there. Yes. It's very nice, let's just say. Had a nice quiche with some sort of parsnip chip wedge things. They're very good. Bit of salad, as you do. God, you're showing up. Well, I, I was going to say you're showing up a lot. Having said that, that's actually only the second time the Sea Beast appeared, isn't it? So, no, it's not really that he's showing up like crazy, is it? He's only shown up twice so far. Undoing my own words with logic. That is what I just did. Okay. No s Oh, hang on. There's a jetty appeared on the compass. Off in this sort of direction. Yeah, that... I'm guessing will be the north one. Unless that's actually the east one, but... Hmm. We are heading in a northeasterly direction, sort of, here. East-northeast. North-northeast. One of those. Hello, balloon up there. How are you doing? There it is. Okay. We are kind of heading straight for the balloon here, which is not ideal, but we might just miss it if we get there first. Unless we can see... Oh, God. Just hurt myself again. Need to be a little careful about that. This is a bit risky swimming through the water, but... I don't know. As long as it's not too great a distance, we should be fine. Okay. We made it. That's good. 
Right, let's go. Take Broke North. Yeah, so this is the North Island that we're heading to. Good. A fresh island to be carrying out some uh, policing duties. Okay. You know, I was just thinking on the load screen then, when I was looking at the text at the bottom, just flickering along, what does it mean when it says, next, scanning a star? <laughs> what does that actually mean? <laughs> There's a fair bit of stuff in this game that I don't actually know what it means. Like, for example, on the map generation screen, when you start a new game, it's something about the Voronoi. That's another term which I've seen before in this game, but I don't actually have a clue what it means. Okay, sounds like there's a poacher off in that direction. Right. Right then. Uh, let's see now. Just looking over my inventory. Um, God. So chock full. I don't leave myself a lot of room, do I, for flipping, you know, evidence. God, that's the word I'm looking for. You know, for objects. Don't leave myself a lot of inventory space for these actual investigations. Okay, as we move through this uh, kind of fens biome here... Ooh. Uh, I could probably get a uh, screen here there for a thumbnail. Hang on, if I get into the middle of the stream, like so. Don't mind the police officer, he's just doing a bit of, uh, you know, work. Photographing a potential crime scene, that's what I'm doing. As you do. I've not actually any reason to believe that area is suspicious, but I shall take my photographs nonetheless. Should an investigation, or the need for one rather, arise. Okay, we got uh, guys over by the pub. So they don't get drunk and start having a shootout. Let's go over to this cottage and see what the deal is over here. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's the landowner over there. Just saw him in the distance, at the corner of my eye. Um, there's nothing really we need in there. In fact, actually, we could discard some of this junk, couldn't we? A, a map. Hmm. Yeah, a, a map would be uh, good. Um, matchboxes. Well, they're in limited use, aren't they? So there's no point really me taking a second, and I already have a torch, so I don't need a second one. Okay, right. Cleared out this inventory space here, so we can use this cottage to store uh, evidence from the crime scenes. Um, what else? What else can we get up to? I'm just thinking, I've got so many freaking bandages. Do I really need that many? Uh, might as well have, hold on to them for now. In fact, whilst I'm here, uh, I may just put... Um, mouse one to place markers. Can I place marker, please? Ugh, I want to place marker. Did that show up? That's not showing up at all. Hang on. Let me just use this map. I don't think I've ever really used... Okay, it's not letting me actually place a marker, which is a bit weird. Oh, no, hang on. That's how you do it. You have to right-click. It's a bit misleading down at the bottom, though. It just says use mouse one. Well, actually, what you have to do is right-click and then use the mouse one. There we go. So that puts a waypoint on the map there for this uh, cottage, so I can find it again, in case I go wandering off and get lost. Do you know, I'm a new constable to these parts. This is not a familiar beat. I could very easily get lost. I only have the one map. Okay, what's in this barrel here? Don't mind this police officer just investigating and rummaging through all of your all of your inventory spaces. No squires in the immediate vicinity, which is good. Uh, let's see now. I'll eat that cat food very quickly, just because I can. I think I just knocked my uh, microphone a couple of seconds ago then. Hope I didn't just blast someone's eardrums out there. Okay. Uh, there's nothing there. So I'll just check these areas out. Um, let's see. Ooh, mints, yes. Don't mind this police constable just eating things straight out of people's kitchens without their consent. You know, I'm the local lawman. After all the hard work that I do, I deserve your mints and your blackberries. And your chocolate biscuits as well. Also, I'm going to drink your sherry, whilst, because I can. Don't mind me. Police Constable Plod is drunk on the job, and he hasn't even been to the pub over there. There's a bin here, let's rummage through it. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. Right. Ooh, a fruitcake, nice. Oh! Nope, you didn't see anything. Just ignore this police officer over here who's going around raiding people's houses. 
apples, blah blah blah, stand on this table because we can. Um, yeah, we're not really going to get a shootout in this location, are we? There's not enough robots around. Okay. Let us go in this direction post haste and have another sip of tea whilst we're on the move. I think a poacher in there, I hear him. There's another piece of device over there, just off the path. Oh, hello there, poacher, what are you up to? Oi, are you flipping laying down traps? Hmm? Don't let me catch you actually poaching any animals. It's against the law. Right, telephone box. Hmm. Just wondering, we could use this as a backup inventory space, couldn't we? In case, uh, you know, we can't get to the cottage for whatever reason. Okay, uh, let's just open my map up. Oh, where am I? I'm up there. God, that's a lot of fucking robot sound effects. Ooh, no. That was a bit dangerous, wasn't it? God, they're everywhere. Well, bugger me. Well, bugger me stupid. <laughs> what? Nope. <laughs> ah, Stealth Master. Okay, so we've got two potential inventory spaces to store stuff. Everyone knows that police uh, officers love storing crap in uh, telephone boxes here in the UK. You know, when all else fails, you need somewhere to put all your crime scene evidence. Telephone boxes suffice. Small area, you know, self-contained. Got a telephone right there in case you need it. Right, well, they're moving off in that direction. That's good. That's very, very good indeed. They didn't really seem to bother with the poacher. Hey, wait a fucking minute. Is that a dead rabbit there? Have you friggin' poached something? Did one of your traps kill something? You little bar steward. That is against the law. Poaching is illegal. If I had my rifle, I would snipe you right in the noggin right now. Maybe I should blast you with both barrels of my police shotgun. My standard police issue, uh, you know, special super awesome shotgun of awesomeness. Hey, oi, 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 oi. Need to check out this rabbit. Where is it? Where'd it go? It's around here somewhere. Ah, I think it's over here. Just watch out for these traps that he's freaking positioned everywhere. Yeah, that's definitely a dead bunny. You frigging git, you poacher bastard. God, I mean... <laughs> what do you like? Oh, what have you said? Were you looking at me? He saw something. Because he was making the, uh, you know, I've seen something and I'm interested kind of sound effect. Whoop. Are you seeing me or are you looking at other robots? What's going on? I'm still going to freaking put some shotgun shells into your head for committing such an illegal, heinous act. Where'd he go? Where is he? Hmm? Hey, come on. Where are you? Have a word. Hello, hello? What's going on? Where are the poachers? All poaching is illegal. Cannot be tolerated. There he is. If we can saw him. Keep sneaking towards him. Gah, you asshole, look at you. Thinking you're so smart wandering around there. Thinking, oh, I'll just poke some rabbits and I'll get away with it. No. It's not going to happen, bud. Oh, he heard that. Oh, there he is. He's hearing something. And. You dead? Uh, yeah, he's dead. Lawbreaker dealt with. His body's kind of spinning a bit. <laughs> uh, hello? What's your body doing? Wow, he's got a friggin' full on um, blunderbuss as well. That's exactly how you pronounce the word blunderbuss. Okay, he stopped spinning. That's good. Some of the robot. Oh, you git. Oh, you piece of shit. You can't do that to a police officer. Fucking can't put a police officer in a man trap, you piece of crap. God. Fucking give me your body. I should have picked up his pliers. He had two sets of them. Fuck. Damn it. Move. Police officer is not happy about this. 
God, I'm going to be writing a uh, stiffly worded report to the uh, chief constable about this friggin' illegal activity on this new beat of mine. Okay. Deary me. Good lord. Okay, I think we'll head back to the jetty and save the game. Oh! No. Scratch that. We're not doing that. Oh, I see the muzzle flashes. No, no, no. we got to shoot out. Got to deal with this. Okay. I can see two perps. At least. No, three. I see three perpetrators. Oi. Hey, you don't think you're getting away, do you? Get out. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, one of them's down. Shit. Nope. Come on. Huh? You wanna go? You wanna go, brother? Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Stop it. Oi. Get out. Out of it. Oh, no. I hope there's... Oh, there's more hunters approaching. It's just these four. Out of it. Right, get clear before these three show up. Because otherwise, you know, we're going to have more trouble to deal with. God. They sh don't, don't they know? You're supposed to stay the hell out of the crime scene. Oh, careful. Right, um, I'm going to need to friggin' seriously discard some of my shit in order to carry all this crap. Uh, tell you what, we don't need this many friggin' bandages, do we? Let's clear all that out there. Let's put all this here. There we are. Oh, no. Okay, can you please move away? Hmm. Okay. You know, for this investigation, because my inventory is so chock full, and I think... Oh no, my uh, telephone box inventory thing is actually just over there. That's actually pretty useful. Where was those... Where were those bodies? Ah, there's one, number one. Here we are. Okay. Let, come here. Okay, he has a shotgun, that's just going to turn into shells, let's put those there. He has two boots, so we'll take those, and some bandages. Right, let's go and just put these into the telephone box dead quickly. See, I told you it was useful to have a telephone box as a uh, inventory space for a crime scene, didn't I? Oh, how handy that turned out to be. Okay, so those in there, put those in there. Look at that, it just takes up one row, nicely. Okay, now we need to find his buddy. Uh, look at the sparks, there's the first one. He's over here. He's got a broken shotgun and some bandages. Nice. We'll put these in the uh, special inventory space as well. It'll be good. Uh, right, that one in there. That one in there. There we go. Now we need to find these other two who uh, were also part of the shootout. These other two perpetrators. I see one sparking over here. Here he is. Uh, he just has one shotgun. Okay. One lot of shotgun shells. Where was the fourth one? He was around somewhere. Ah, hang on, he's there. Oh god. Oh, for fuck's sake, why are you approaching the crime scene? Just take him. There we go. Get out. Didn't see anything, bud. Okay, get back to the... Uh, the... the... Uh, here, even. To the telephone box. Oh, to the telephone box! Yes. Right. Spare shotgun. Uh, raw meat. Lots of raw meat, actually. Those there, and those there. Okay, that's all the evidence accumulated right there. Let's also uh, take a moment to uh, memorise the crime scene. So, we're on the road between two villages. There's a uh, device piece located directly over the path over there. There are also three robots in there, three witnesses. Uh, I don't actually know the names of these villages. Maybe that's a good idea to actually uh, check out what they are. So, over here we have Woolly Hamlet. No tourists. So, Woolly Hamlet over there. Now, obviously there are robots all over the friggin' place here, so we're gonna have to be a little careful. Uh, maybe if we go like this. That village is... Oh, didn't get a good look at that. Lumble cheating. Please drive carefully. That is absolutely fine. So, the crime took place on the road between Woolly Hamlet and Lumble cheating, everybody. That's the robot. No, the robot. The rabbit, even. I always get those, <laughs> you know, it's easy to get those words confused, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to head back to the jetty, and I'm going to wrap up this episode. And in the next episode, we'll do the investigation. So, bear in mind, everybody, which, uh, you know, the location of the crime scene, that's going to be important. It's going to be very, very important. Yes. Okay, but other than that, 
I'm going to wrap up now. So, this was 100, uh, episode 168. Yeah, that's right. Of so, you're being hunted with me, General Red Strategist. Like I said, next episode, investigation time will be commencing. If you're not doing so already, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter pages. Links in the video description. Go and follow me on those. Sign up to them. Share my videos with all your friends. Blah, blah, blah. All the usual guff. And in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 How's that monstrosity finish off? Get over there. See ya. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill it again now. Shit. God, stop, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Yeah. Oh lord! No, 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 no! Holy crap! This area is horrible! <laughs> oh my god, I've been shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my. What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell, that did like a million damage! This better not be a. Whoa! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many? What? Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then, govs and gusses? Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then, govs and govs?